Good morning, everybody. As you can see, again, no workout today. My hip is starting to feel a little bit better. It's like it's popped back into place, but it's really sore around where it was out and uh, like really tender. So it hurts to walk and hurts to sit, all that fun stuff. So until that gets better, um, no riding the bike. I'd like to ride it a few more times before I leave. Um, by the way, we are set to leave July the 3rd. That is the day we'll hit the road and we'll come back in the middle of October. So it's going to be a long, long few months out on the road. Uh, I'm excited. We are going to do a lot of new stuff this time. We're gonna go visit a lot of businesses. So we are needing um, businesses to see because we are gonna be through Virginia, um, Pennsylvania, uh, Ohio. So if you guys know businesses in those areas that would like us to maybe come by, have dinner there, hang out, do video, check out there, make sure that they get on the map. Sportbikers.com. Put a free listing on the map because that is the only way we pick um, businesses to stop by. Give them a little free promotion. Give them some poo so that you guys can go pick it up there. And, uh, you know, everybody's helping everybody. They're telling everybody about the Wrecked Rider Fund. We're telling everybody about their awesome business. And it's a win-win-win. Not to mention, uh, it gives us cool places to stop as we're traveling along the way. So, anyway, we need your help. If you guys know any businesses in Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, have them uh, put a listing on the site and uh, hopefully we'll find, uh, we're going to go through North Carolina as well. Uh, hopefully we'll find some cool businesses that we can go hang out with. Anyway, today is going to be kind of a, what do I want to say? kind of a bookkeeping type of day. So we're just I'm just gonna let you guys know what we've got going on, what's happening, uh, the latest and greatest, because we've had a lot of stuff going on in the background. Um, I've got like four sponsorship meetings here within the next like week. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we will uh, get some new sponsors in some of the groups we already got set up. We're working on a couple of new states. So fingers crossed all of that works out. We'll be opening a couple of new sport bikers groups. Plus, um, we got to give out some checks today. So um, we gave out three support bikers grants. So as it sits right now, Sport Bikers raises money for wrecked riders. And when you have a wreck, you can apply for the basically the fund. Um, and right now, we are giving out $200 grants. $200 grants. Not two $100 grants, but $200 grants for the people that are approved. Um, one of the requirements to be approved is you've got to be a member of one of our groups before the accident. Um, so if you guys are listening to this, invite all, everybody that you see on a motorcycle or you run into on a motorcycle to join one of our groups. It can be the big support bikers group. It can be our local state groups, but once they're in the group, they automatically qualify for, um, that grant. All they have to do is fill out the form. Um, give us the information we need because we do ask for proof of the accident um, and all that. And then they can get a $200 grant. Now, mind you, we just started this thing a few months ago. So the fact that we are blessed enough to have raised enough money to be able to give out three grants um, is incredible for us. So we were able to um, give out those grants. Hopefully one day the grants are larger than $200. Um, that's our dream. I don't know whether it'll ever be, but you know what? $200 is better than no $100, so we will do everything we can do. Now, on top of that, we have our Support a Biker fundraiser. So our Support a Biker fundraiser is like a GoFundMe, except it's for bikers only. They set it up through us. They can then post it into our groups because we do not allow GoFundMe's in our groups. It's just too much to manage. Who's in charge of it? Where's the money going to? Just It's just too much. Um, then, of course, we have people in our groups that are volunteers. And so 
The other thing is, how do they know that we've said that this GoFundMe is okay, but this GoFundMe is not okay, right? So it's just a bunch to track. We've tried that. Um, it's not great. So we now have the ability to do it on our own. It's called Support a Biker. Um, now, you don't have to be a member of our groups to apply for the Support a Biker. That's where the difference is. So if they got in an accident and they found the group, they can come in. They won't qualify for the grant, but they will qualify to go ahead and create a Support a Biker fundraiser. So that was the other thing. Um, one of the checks, our $200 was added to like another $300 um, of funds that were raised. So they got a bigger check because they had raised money through Support a Biker and our grant and all that added together gave them a bigger check. So we were able to help somebody in North Carolina, in Missouri, Arkansas, and in Illinois today. So three different states we covered today um, helping people that had an accident. And that's what it's all about. Nose itches. What does that mean? What does it mean when your nose itches? Other than just your nose itches. But a lot of people have sayings, right? Like, oh, somebody's talking about you or blah, blah, blah. What do you guys, what's your saying for if your nose itches? What's, what's actually happening besides I've got allergies? Anywho, guys, that is kind of where we're at. Um, we're leaving, like I said, July the 3rd. And then um, we will be on the road all the way till October, basically Biketoberfest. Just before Biketoberfest, we have company coming. We have the Irish. The Irish are coming. Anyway, they're going to come. They're going to stay with us through Bike Week, then the next week, and then we're all going to go on the cruise. Uh, if you're not familiar with the cruise, it's called the High Seas Rally. I think they still have some cabins open. If you would like to spend the week hanging out with like-minded people, all bikers, and just chilling. Um, there's bike builders on the ship. I know they do like breakouts where they tell you, you know, different things about painting and carburetors and building and you just get to hang out. The beauty of it is you're on a ship. Of course, we've got places that we stop, but you guys just get to hang out. If you got the drink package, you can hang out, eat, drink, and be merry all day long. Sit by the pool, get in the hot tub, get in the pool, go to the beach, whatever you want to do it is a blast um they have shows every night uh so there's always something going on i know gary michaels our buddy um the biker comedian he will be there um and a bunch of bands so if you like music if you like rock and roll if you like food if you like just hanging out talking motorcycles um, they have all kinds of competitions belly flop competition and all that fun stuff guys it's a blast this is our third trip um, we keep signing back up every year can't wait to do it this year so if you're looking for something to do end of october how halloween is actually while we're on the boat so there's costumes the whole nine yards you can't beat it Anywho, go look up the video from last year. I have a whole week of dailies that I did while I was on the ship. If you're curious more about it, or just reach out to me directly. Anywho, that's it, guys. I'm rambling. I will see you all tomorrow.